because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here at York Hall. Shane Watson joins me, Shane. A disappointing night for Lisa, just kind of your assessment of that performance. Yeah, um, I thought it looked a bit, uh, Lisa looked a bit cagey, two rounds in. When she grew into it, I thought she ran round three, four, and five. I was like, oh, here she is, she's woken up now. So round six was close, and then Tysi won the rest of the round, I thought, fairly comfortably. Um, Disappointing and it's heartbreaking in a way for Lisa because she's had no luck whatsoever. She's had terrible injuries and luck that she did have, when I say no luck, she had a beautiful baby boy which kept her out for a while. And at that, just before that, she was going to fight a final eliminator for the world title. And back then, she was firing hot. No one wanted to fight her. She was stopping girls, hurting them all the time. And they couldn't land a glove on her and she was looking exceptional. But um, unfortunately, she, she looked a little bit like she'd... Uh, She's in the later end of her career. Um, I think her legs looked a bit heavy. And she just looked like she looked a bit older tonight. And that happens to fighters sometimes when they've had the amateur career that she's had, which was exceptional. <clears throat> when they've had the layoff and the pro career that she's had and unlock of, inju unlock of injuries and stuff. And Tysi Gallagher's a good boxer as well. So Tysi Gallagher looked good tonight. She looked like the younger person there, didn't she? Obviously, I know she is the younger person, but she looked very, the very much younger person. And, uh, it's devastating because we've been with Lisa a long, long time. He's one of the first Eshram signings of Joe Joyce and, and a few others. Uh, so it's heartbreaking to see, to see her potentially go out that way. Listen, that decision's for her. Um, but that, that, that's, that's my evaluation on the fight, really. Yeah. Obviously, you've just been in her change room. It is obviously early days in kind of absorbing the loss and seeing what comes from it. Did she kind of look like, I don't know if there's perhaps a sense you get from fighters at all, you'll be able to tell me this. Did it look like, Someone who was sitting there and going, this could be it now. Um, yeah, listen, I'll let, I'll let her make that decision. I mean, Mick is a very good man, her coach, a very good trainer as well. Probably doesn't get the respect he deserves as a trainer, actually. Um, but he's a very good man. He's like family to her. So I'm sure them two have that conversation in the coming days after she has a bit of rest, spend a bit of time with her son and her husband. But um, listen, from my point of view, like, it's hard to see... Like, you're not going to get fresher at that age, and, that, and that's, that's the only concern. And I wouldn't ever want to see Lisa get hurt, because she's very tough, man. Like, you see, in that fight, she took a lot of big shots, and she didn't really seem too bothered by it. But, you know, you don't want to, one day, go into a fight against an even better opposition, because that's what she would have to do, and potentially get hurt, you know. Um, Lisa's got, like I said, a very young family. Um, and I think, obviously, her son, well, I don't think I know her son means everything to her. And I, I would personally probably quite like to see her just be the great mum that she is and whatnot. Listen, but it's a decision for her to make and I'll always support her and be there for her, whatever decision she does make. She has to hang up the gloves. She hangs them up as one of this country's best amateurs, that is for sure. Um, obviously, Joe Joyce tomorrow, uh, just kind of a final word. Been a big week. It's really had that proper big fight feel. I know obviously everything involving Joe now is big. But it's had that proper big fight feel. And um, yeah, tomorrow, go to war. Yeah, he looked great on the scales today, lighter than what people thought. Um, looked chiselled, razor sharp. You wouldn't think that was a 37-year-old man, would you? I mean, I've seen 26-year-olds on like that. But yeah, he um, he's in great spirits. Uh, typical Joe Joyce all day. Um, chilled, relaxed as usual. Ready to put on a some video game. Yeah, this is playing video game. Gonna put it on pause again. Go into the arena, get the win, and unpause it. Come back. <laughs> no, yeah, but he's gonna look. He's gonna look great tomorrow. He's in great place mentally. Always is anyway. He's feeling sharp, he's backing himself, we're all confident and happy. And he's in there against a genuine, genuine world level fighter. And he, he beat her, which everyone knows that, so that makes him, in my opinion, a top 10 heavyweight. To one elite heavyweight is going in there against another world level heavyweight, so expect a good fight. One can punch her hell. One, another one can punch her hell as well. Joe, Joe, Joe's record suggests that he can punch her hell and he can punch her hell. So it's going to be a great fight, but um, hopefully Joe doesn't take too many and then gets the stoppage himself. But it's going to be a great, great fight. and. Uh, Listen, it's the best heavyweight fight in the world that's actually been made um, this year. So, you know, so, uh, and, and, and it looks like for the foreseeable future as well, because no other fight has been made yet. They could talk about this heavyweight tournament, but uh, I'd like to see them do that, because we know they're not going to do it. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's exciting. I'm really excited for tomorrow. Um, 
Obviously, tonight wasn't Lisa's night, but uh, you know, I know I'm looking forward to juggling on tomorrow. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 